Hello everyone. This is the East Coast Economic Update. Thank the Lord. Uh, for May the 28th, 2010. I want to thank everyone who has prayed for me and uh, who's been uh, contacting me. I want to thank you all. I know I haven't responded to everyone's emails because I've gotten so many. Uh, but I want to thank you all. Uh, I'm on the mend. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is clear. The blood's back in my face. And uh, hopefully... With God's help, I will be um, gaining some weight. So let's get to the let's get to the issue at hand. Um, there's a three issues that I wanted to um, touch base. Hello, and my cat says hello as well. Um, first of all, uh, is the U.S. economy. Um, Bloomberg stated that the uh, that the consumer, who is now becoming an American citizen again. Uh, by not spending beyond their means, uh, has started to save again. Now remember, and I'm going to keep putting this out to you over and over and over again because it is pertinent, um, savings is also counted as if you're paying down debt. That's not savings. That means that even though you may pay off your credit card with your tax return or uh, what have you, or just by not doing uh, certain things like going out to dinner, paying off your credit card is considered savings. People are consistently paying down their debt, and that is bad for the economy because our economy is not based in anything real. It's based on us consuming. 70% of our GDP is based on us buying shit we don't need with money we don't have, as the old saying goes. So the American people are no longer the resilient consumer, quote unquote. So those people are paying down their debt, and it's being counted as savings. This is going to continue, especially with people seeing family members and the like, uh, either going becoming laid off or have been laid off for quite a while. And we're going to get to another uh, e uh, report on that at the end. Uh, second of all, more importantly, or equally important, I should say is that Spain's AAA rating was lowered. Greece's was, Spain, and the rest of the PIGS uh, uh, in Europe is going to have their uh, credit ratings lost. Sovereign debt is going to become an issue, and it's constantly an issue. Um, it's going to come back to bite us in the ass probably in the next, I'd say, six to nine months. Don't watch, and I keep telling people, don't, don't watch the um, Dow Industrial Averages. I got an email from a good friend who said, you know, it's going to be down to 6,000. It might, uh, which will may indicate a depressionary, uh, uh, deflationary depression. Uh, but I think because what we've been billing out in cash, thanks to the Federal Reserve, I think it's going to be more inflationary. But who knows? Uh, no one will know. But watch the bond market, as I've been saying for years. Uh, now that the uh, uh, now that the Fed has run out of bullets. Um, I think you're seeing a uh, increase in the uh, people are not buying debt and not buying our debt. Chinese are not. Nobody else is. Uh, you know, we're, we're showing up to sell it and nobody's buying it. So be aware of that. Europe is a little bit more aware of that because they have a multi-tier system. They have a cradle to grave um, protection system, healthcare wise, unemployment wise and so forth. And that cradle to grave system is being tested in every country except for Germany, which has production, uh, production capacity and continues to produce. And that is the only way you can have a balance, you know, uh, a balance between um, uh, benefits and production is the only way you can have a, a real economy. And unfortunately, Germany is tenuously has that balance. So be aware, um, probably in the next few months, we're going to see a great amount of people losing their benefits straight out, and um, you're going to see a lot of protests. Um, finally, the Tier 5 unemployment benefits are going to, well, Nancy Pelosi, and I'll have the articles, of course, everywhere in the box. Um, Nancy Pelosi and the Congress decided that people who have been unemployed for more than two years, 99 weeks, in fact, um, don't need any more benefits. I mean, they're just lazy. Unfortunately, those 90, the, the 99 week folks range somewhere in the 24 million category, 
and those people who have been depending on those benefits because either their jobs have been lost forever, real estate, so forth, construction, are going to turn around and they're going to protest. Guaranteed. Uh, whatever you may think of the web bots, um, they indicated that there would be earthquakes and volcanoes, and they also talked about a summer where there would be a massive amount of protests. Those protests have already begun in small amounts with the tea parties and everything else. But if you take 24 million people and throw them into the, I can't pay my bills anymore because the state is not protecting me, and now I'm without a job and without even the benefits that have been promised to me by uh, by the state because I've been paying into the unemployment, you're going to see a lot of people uh, standing up and saying no more. So finally, I'm going to leave you with two videos, one from Lyndon LaRouche, and, and it doesn't reflect on my views. Well, Lyndon LaRouche might be questionable in his behavior, but he does point out uh, a possible um, option to bail out, and I use that phrase very loosely, to, to bring about change in the government and change in how uh, we can recover in this economy. Um, the reason why I put it there is because um, the only way you're going to recover, or recover, the only way you can have a recovery is if you and your brothers have jobs and long-term jobs where you can, where you feel confident enough to have children. And that's the reason why a lot of people are not having children. Uh, part of it is, of course, the mainstream media. Part of it is because uh, people have such fear of um, instability uh, that they're afraid to bring another human being into a mess that they, too, are stuck in. Um, the other video that I'm going to put up is Noam Chomsky, uh, manage, uh, uh, Manufacturing Consent. It was a documentary done in 1995. Both of these people I don't agree with 100%. Uh, in some cases, I don't agree with them at 50%. But they both bring out different perspectives of how we observe the world and how the wor and how the mainstream media and everyone else is manipulating how we see the world and how we are to react to it. So I leave it for you as an intellectual exercise. Um, Lynn LaRouche's thing is like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. The Manufacturing Consent is a three-hour movie, if you dare want to watch it. Um, I think both will give you at least a balanced view, and I'm using that word very loosely, a balanced view between one extreme and another extreme. But the only way you, you as the person who's watching this video, is going to have a fair perspective is to see both extremes and make your own decisions. Even what I'm telling you, it's what I believe. The only way you're going to be um, an effective citizen is if you are exposed and you make your own decisions based on your own belief system. Not what I think, not what other people think, even though what we may say is valid. So I leave you with that. And I leave you with the, the, the three articles. Um, and hopefully I'm going to be back week after week. Uh, hopefully you're going to see me at 200 pounds, not at 185. So until next time, to those of you who believe, who practice, Shabbat Shalom. And for the rest of you, have a lovely, lovely three-day weekend. If you're going to enjoy it, please enjoy it. Peace.